Good morning everyone, we are back with another video today on how to farm Kamora tickets, baby! Every 15-ish village missions that you complete, you'll start to unlock Kamora tickets. And today I'm going to show you the quickest way that I found to do missions fast, the right way. Good luck. Step 1. Complete level 5 Magnamolo mission, come up hence. I watched a video, someone tried to make this video, um, and they forgot to mention that. Very important, complete that mission. Step 2. Unlock the outpost in the Shrine Ruins, sub camp 1. Step 3. Buy Leather S Outfit. Step 4, equip botany level 1 decoration three times on your leather armor equipment. This will allow you to collect more fire lantern berries and complete missions faster. Alright, all this buddy stuff you're seeing right here is all optional. It's not going to help you complete missions faster. This is the quickest way to upgrade your buddies, to collect materials. Every five missions you want to come and collect the materials and stuff from your buddies. Um, it'd probably be quicker if you did it upstairs in the hub. This is a great way to get spare materials while upgrading your buddies. This would usually take people hours to get this kind of stuff, but you're getting it in five minutes. All right, last, and then I go to the submarine, and I just collect all my stuff there. I usually just get honey and thunderbug for some reason, and just do my buddy bargaining. Until we meet again. Now you're ready to begin. Each village mission that you do is another step closer to Kamora tickets, so the more you do, the better. Now you're ready to go to level 1 Roly Poly Lanterns. Alright, the mission quest has began. Swing over here behind your tent where you'll find a wire bug. Shoot up the mountain. You can collect that bug if you want. Uh, you can collect that rock if you want. You can skip that if you just want to do mission farming. Go straight for the fire lanterns, which there's one down here. Then you want to go to sub camp one. I'm back. Grab the fire lantern on your left there. Then you want to go around this little mountain here. Drop down and the mission should complete right there. But if not, you go up here a little further and you'll complete the mission this way. Now, if you are doing optional quest, this is a way to farm rock and honey. You go up the hill, uh, there's your rock around the corner, then you want to swing up here, web swing, boom, boom, and trip over that rock right there, and then you want to grab the honey. Alright, this is the bone method. You just go up this hill. You notice that I skipped the fire lantern back there, and I skipped that fire lantern. Sometimes you have to do that so the mission won't end. Uh, you have to go up a little further for the bones, but not too much further. Sometimes after missions, AIs want to give you gifts. Go ahead and receive those gifts when they want to talk to you after missions, so it will not interfere with the AI giving. Right above this nest, and then the mission should end there, which gives you enough time to collect the bones. Alright, this is the flower and mushroom method. There's one right there. You go down, and mushroom's there. You slide down the hill, and there should be some flowers there, and some between the buildings. And there is a flower on the left 
You just keep going straight there. If you're fast enough, you can grab it. Good. After around 15-ish missions of roly-poly you complete, uh, Fugan will call you over and say, Hey, I got some tickets for you yonder. That's how you do it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. I love you.